Hello, hello everybody, Brian here. Today is uh, Tuesday, November 7th. Just wanted to show you now Forex auto trading in uh, auto trading in um, trading view. And uh, it's no different than what I've shown before. It's slightly different, but let me show you. So you see here I've shown you already crypto with Kraken. So now we got Forex I'm testing out. So how it works is we've got the Ichimoku uh, strategy. And um, I've uh, had to change the coding a little bit in the Pine script. And uh, with Interactive Brokers, there's two major asset classes you can do this with. First, it's with Forex if you really wanted to. Also, you can do the same thing with stocks okay so obviously I'm showing you crit, uh, Forex and uh, everything I have in my account and interactive brokers is US dollars so I'm only restricted to whatever in US dollars that's all fine and good so right now I'm using the Ichimoku you can see this here let me pull up uh, or actually I can change the time frame let's say if I want to show you a four hour okay so you can see here on the euro um, let's say a three month uh, you can see all the buy buy you know long and short markers so if I go down to a one month that's still a little noisy let's do the five day anyway so if you look at the performance here the profit factor changes so if I go to a one day uh, it still go, goes up a little bit to 0.97. I uh, know if it's over a month, 0.98. So right here, this is now 30 minutes. Okay, so if I go one hour, you can see that this profit factor changes. So if I go, I don't know, let's go daily. Now it's more than one, which is what you p would prefer. You could go, let's say, weekly. Even better, all right? So if you do a weekly chart, let this puppy run on its own, you'd be up 60% win ratio with this Ichimoku at 3.5. That's pretty strong, okay? So um, if you want, these are back testing, all the list of trades, and so on and so forth. So let's just keep it simple here let's do a one minute okay um, so the performance here is 0.97 okay so time the time frame does matter nothing's changed except the time frame but you can get better results with a high, much higher profit factor okay so that's all fine and good um, so I've shown before that we need to create an alert. So let me just reverse that here. And uh, so if I go in, I've got two alerts running right now for crypto, Solana and uh, Chainlink. So here with Euro US dollar, um, Euro US dollar, choose a strategy, Ichimoku, create. Okay, so it'll show up right here. And um, what will happen is you'll get the alert logs show, or the, all the alerts will show up in the alert log. I'm gonna stop this for a minute, and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. So that's when the alerts come in. So now what I've got here uh, in the source code, I've created two uh, console apps. This one right here is a new version of what I've shown before. So this will pull in um, e one email, as I said, because you can only have one email associated with TradingView. So now we're gonna have three asset classes we're dealing with. I've shown you the crypto. I've also shown you the equity, but I'm gonna give you an updated one. And then there's also this Forex. So the Forex is different. Um, the uh, there, there's a message that it looks for in the incoming emails, and it will distinguish forex for 
interactive brokers. Okay, so that's great. So now what it will do is it will send a message to this uh, program, Python again, and it will uh, use Redis sub pub, sorry, pub sub, publisher subscriber model. So this is the publisher, this would be the subscriber. So that would then at the same time connect into TWS, the Trader Workstation. You always have to have that on. That just there's no if ends or buts about it. Um, when it comes to working with interactive brokers, okay, I, I don't like it. If you use the gateway uh, or the fix, you can kind of program uh, programmatically do it, but then you have to have a bigger account and da da da. But that's just the way it goes. So when the message comes in from this application via Redis, uh, it'll pick it up and I'll subscribe to it, get the order, and then what it will do is it'll take that order and push it out or submit it out into into um, into uh, into uh, uh, TWS. So I have two orders tested working fine with TWS um, and as it stands right now it works now one thing I want to highlight here is uh, let me see if I can copy uh, what I want to show you here um, yeah okay so Essentially, for every Forex trade that I'm seeing live, a buy and a sell, I'm seeing a commission of $2. Okay, so it's a lot higher than the $1 you get with the equity or stock or ETF. So it's $2 it looks like. That's, that's what I gotta confirm. So if you're gonna do a buy, that will be $2. And to sell it, it's another $2. That's what I'm seeing, a flat fee. So um, I need to get that verified. So in essence, I don't want to keep doing that with Forex. Like we're here to make money, not give money to interactive brokers. Um, but I just want to let you know it is working. I can do live trades with interactive brokers. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited by it, if I want. So... Um, that's pretty well that. And again, all the same control over when it comes to alerts is the same. Um, but uh, it's pretty good to have in case the markets go bad. Because I think the markets will go bad and Forex will still be profitable. Um, but this commission fee is pretty high. So unless you're trading in heavy volume, um, that might be worthwhile. But uh, with... Um, you yeah, have to verify that with with uh, interactive brokers. It's expensive, for if, if that's the case. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to show you uh, the capabilities here. If you want to know more, uh, I'm going to be building a whole course around this for both uh, trading view for auto trading and how to interface it with my Python uh, code. As I said, there's there's basically two uh, apps or, or programs right here um, you can see there there's a sell and there's a buy uh, all euro USD um, so I'll, I'll be given the source code and I'll be doing code walkthroughs through that through this program uh, this other program once it's all come together and uh, yeah it, it seems to work pretty good for auto trading and again this is with auto trading for both Interactive brokers for Forex and equity. Well, that, that includes stock and ETF. You could do it with futures and options with interactive brokers, but apparently people don't like it. Uh, but it's possible. I don't trade either asset class. The other option is, and you can do it in parallel, is crypto. You can see here, crypto's done very well. Uh, let me show you here. So, let me just show you like Chainlink USD. And uh, let's see here. 
So you can see there, since uh, that's a one hour time frame, but if I gave you a daily, it's been moving pretty good. So 575 since September 11th, and you can see here it's moved up almost three times profit. Okay, now if I was to show you Solana, Solana, I would say Solano, Solana, uh, let's say Coinbase. Uh, same thing, uh, eight, eighteen dollars. Now it's at forty-three dollars, and it's been moving up. Uh, Bitcoin's obviously done very well, so Bitcoin is doing amazing. You can trade uh, crypto on Bitcoin if you're in the U.S. and I believe UK. I'm sure it's not that ex well compared. It's still a little expensive compared to Kraken, and from my, you're very limited in what you can trade on interactive brokers, anyhow. So there you go, but with uh, crypt, uh, Bitcoin, 26,000 right there, October 14th, three weeks later, it's at 35K. So yeah, um, for sure, for sure, with that kind of uh, rally, you can see Bitcoin's done quite well, and it's still doing very well. Um, so just wanted to tell you and show you uh, that it is very possible now to auto trade Forex, crypto, and, I'll, and I've already shown equity, but I'll have another video to show you that. Okay, uh, and as I said, for me, I don't think I'll be doing a lot of Forex from what I'm seeing with the uh, commission rate. That's pretty That's pretty steep. Unless you're doing like large volume, it might be worthwhile. Uh, yeah, and of course you could probably go on another broker as well, but hey, you, you can code that up if you want. Uh, as I said, I'm just keeping it to interactive brokers and cracking. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have a good day. And make sure you get on my email list. I'll have the um, email where to go for your free trading tech book or PDF um, in the description. Again, thanks for watching.